The comic book universe is massive, so we have the multiverse. And it's so massive that neither Marvel nor DC can contain their ideas, possibilities, loose threads of plot lines, or even in some cases, other publication houses that they own. Now, the current concept is a lot simpler than any comic book likes to explain it. The concept of a multiverse is that there is infinite, infinite possible universes. Every possible choice you've ever made in your life, it branched off into parallel universes. When you woke up this morning, you needed to decide if you wanted to brush your teeth or not. For each choice, there is a different parallel universe created. Using this foundation of thought, there is a possible universe for everything that has ever happened and could happen. Now in the world of comic books, they normally do massive changes between each world, because I'm pretty sure that no comic book would sell if it was about Spider-Man not brushing his teeth. So we have worlds like where the superheroes are defeated, or magic is more powerful than technology, but I'll be giving you better examples real soon. Now this all started way back at the start of comics unintentionally. When comics first started, they had a habit of just ignoring other comics continuity in order to tell their own story. When it came time to start telling more consistent stories, any story that was considered non-canon was turned into its own universe within each of the publication's multiverses. To clarify what I just explained, DC had their original superheroes, Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, and Batman. This was known as the Golden Age of comic books. When they decided to change everything, like they made the Green Lantern not mystic and they wanted to make him cosmic instead, and the Flash a scientist and not a college student, this was called the Silver Age. They were also considered two different continuities, so anything that happened in the original Golden Age didn't happen in the Silver Age. Eventually, the writers at DC thought it would be cool to call the Golden Age Earth 2 and the Silver Age Earth 1, and that the Flash was actually able to travel at such a high speed that he could tune himself to the frequency of Earth 2 and travel there. So we have two different continuities connected by some superheroes that can travel between them. Well, once this happened and it sold a bunch, it was decided to make traveling between the worlds a normal thing. Then any what-if Elseworld possible paths were turned into other worlds for each publication's multiverse. For example, let's go over some of my favorite universes so you can understand the differences. Starting with DC and the New 52 lineup of worlds. Earth Zero is known as Earth Prime, and this is where the New 52 is happening. Earth One is literally the Earth One retellings of all of the superheroes. Earth Two has its own book, and it was originally the world where the Golden Age superheroes hailed from, but now it's just a retelling of those tales. Earth 3 is the world of the Crime Syndicate, and this is where the Justice League is the bad guys. Earth 6 is a world where all of the characters are Stan Lee versions of themselves, and this is Stan Lee's Just Imagine universe. On Earth 11, it's a world where all of your favorite superheroes are gender swapped, so we have Superwoman, Batwoman, Aquawoman, and Wonder Man. Earth 20 is the Society of the Just, and these are pulp fiction versions of our heroes. Earth 23 is the home of Kal-El, a African-American version of Superman who is the President of the United States. Earth 26 is the home of Captain Carrot and his team. Earth 30 is a world where Superman landed in Russia and he was raised to be a Russian superweapon. Earth 43 is a vampire version of the Justice League. The animated universe, the movie universe, and the CW universe, and the Lego universe, those are all worlds in the multiverse. We just don't know where they are right now since not all of the worlds have been named off. Now for Marvel, there's an infinite amount of worlds, but here are some of my favorites. Earth 616 is the world we all know and love for Marvel. Earth 1610 is the ultimate universe, and Earth 199999 is the cinematic universe. The animated universe is 92131, Peter Porker is 8311, and the 2099 universe is actually Earth 928. The zombies universe that you guys all seem to love is 2149. There's also a lot of universes that got one-shots in the New Avengers run. Of those, my favorite has to be the version where the Justice League was killed off by the New Avengers. The whole reason we have multiverses in both DC and Marvel is so that they can use them as excuses anytime they want to make a new story or something doesn't fit into the continuity. Now at this point you're probably saying, whatever, I knew all of this already comic story and thanks for filling me in on knowledge I already had, but why is this relevant in comics right now? Well, both DC and Marvel are doing massive events involving their multiverses. DC is running the Multiversity event, and they're all implying that the original DC Universe, not the New 52 version, but the original DC Universe, is another world inside of the multiverse. Marvel is running a much more complex event in which the other Earths and their multiverse are colliding with each other and destroying each other, and the New Avengers need to find a way to stop this. Now I hope this clarifies a few things as to what the multiverses are and what's going on. And if you guys want, I could list all known multiverses for each publication, but that would take far too much time inside of this little tiny video that I'm trying to use to explain what a multiverse is to you. I'm Benny for Comic Story, and I'll see you guys next time, right here at the channel.
I'm Benny for Comic Story, and thanks for watching that last video, guys. If you want to see more videos just like that, make sure you hit subscribe, because we come out with videos just about every day, sometimes every other day. And if you give this video a like, I'm going to introduce you to my new pet, Tribble. Where did I put my new pet, Tribble? <laughs> I just hacked the Tribble. Dude, you just kicked the Tribble back at me. <laughs>